Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing really well. Today I wanna to do a video all about hair care. I wanna share my favorite products with you guys. I wanna give you guys a few tips that I personally use or do um, that help me to maintain the health of my hair. And also, I know a lot of you guys were asking about the cut that I have and my color, um, especially on Instagram. I saw quite a few requests for that. So I will hopefully answer all your questions today when it comes to hair. And for those who missed it, I did recently upload a video showing you how I do those beachy waves that I've literally had in like every single video. I love that hairstyle so much. I did a video showing you exactly how I do it. So I will link that below in case you missed it. And under that video, I saw quite a few comments saying that my hair looked really nice when it was straight. So before I started curling it. Um, so I thought I would, you know, try something different today and not do the curly hair, although I love it. But, you know, just something a bit more sleek and... Um, I don't know, I kind of like it. So thank you guys for that little inspiration. I probably would have just done, you know, like the usual waves that I do um, if it wasn't for those comments. So thank you guys. And on that note, if you would like to see a video of how I did my hair today or styling in this kind of blowout, sleeky type of way, just let me know below in the comments. I'm just gonna quickly talk about the cut that I have and the color. My hair is layered. This is like the longest section of hair here and then I have I think it's just one like maybe one or two bits that are slightly shorter and the back of my hair is cut in kind of like a v-shape more like a U shape, I would say. It's not straight, it's kind of like with a little bit of a bend. And then in the front part of my hair, I have a few layers that are just kind of framing my face. But I do like how like shorter pieces look in the front because it takes weight off and it doesn't like weigh the front of your face down with like a lot of hair. Like it kind of, you know, gives it a little bit of volume and body. And I really like this type of haircut because as you can see now, I can put my hair behind my back and in the front, it's kind of shorter, so it kind of could look like I have shorter hair if I wanted to, you know, wear that type of look. But then if I do want to have my long hair, I just put it in front. And then as far as the color of my hair, the term, I guess, that you could use to describe this type of hair color is a balayage or an ombre. It's kind of like in between. I do have some color at the ends of my hair, and then I have a few highlights kind of placed um, you know, variously around my head, but I don't have any color on the root of my hair. So this brown here is my natural color, and I love the way that it gives it like dimension. And this type of color is really easy to maintain because you're not putting highlights on the roots of your hair. It's also less damaging, of course, to your scalp because you're not actually, you know, no color is touching your skin or anything like that. It's just on the ends of the hair. And I think doing this type of balayage hair color is so flattering on everyone. I really think it just looks like you had been on vacation for a while and the sun had just naturally, you know, kissed your hair and it's gotten lighter and you've been swimming and it's just, it's like, nature's process of lightening your hair but you know it's obviously done at a salon but that's the kind of look that it gives as you can see the lighter bits are really in front of my face and i think that looks really beautiful because it gives light and dimension and like this vitality to your face so i really love those like face framing highlights i think it's really pretty with all this said i think the best thing to do if you are interested in this type of hair color is to bring lots of photos to your hairstyle and really show them what you like and what you want to incorporate into your hair. You know, if we just describe using words to a hairstylist, we can kind of interpret it differently. And when you bring photos, it's like, you know, they can really see exactly what it is that you're looking for. Another thing that's really important, especially if you have like quite dark brown hair, I would highly, highly recommend to get a toner in your hair after you um, color it or if you've, you know, gotten highlights or something when you lift the color from your natural hair if you have darker brown hair you could end up with a very kind of orange yellow tint that looks kind of brassy and coppery and just not flattering and what a toner will do is it will neutralize those brassy uh, like orange yellow tones and it will give you a more of an ash blonde color which is 
in my opinion more flattering and looks more natural there are also like at home treatments that you can do to correct brassiness and stuff that i will show you guys as well also depending on your stylist and your own hair it could take a few sessions to get like the perfect balayage or the perfect ombre that you're looking for i think with each time that you go because this type of style is very like natural it gets better and better every time. So with all that said, I'm going to move on to the products that I'm using right now. Even though using the right hair products is really helpful, your hair starts to grow from inside of you outwards. So you wanna make sure above all products that you're eating a good diet, and that you're drinking a lot of water, and that you're living a good lifestyle, that you're exercising, that you're getting the blood moving and the nutrients around your body, and making sure that you are happy and not being stressed out all the time because that can really have you know, very harmful effects on your body and also, of course, on your hair. So definitely keeping diet and lifestyle in mind is a huge factor for, you know, growing healthy hair that's strong and that's shiny. So when it comes to the products that I'm using, I want to give you guys a bit of an array of different types. So I have some that are all natural. I have some that are for color-treated hair because I know that not all of you maybe have color-treated hair. My two favorite natural shampoos are these ones. The first is the Giovanni tea tree triple treat shampoo and the other one is by 100% pure this is the burdock and neem shampoo the Giovanni one I have used for years and years I always buy this when I go to the States it is available at Whole Foods and this one you can purchase online this shampoo is amazing it makes your hair feel so fresh and clean and just like invigorated and using a more clarifying shampoo like this is really good if you use you know a lot of styling products or hairspray or dry shampoo or something to really get rid of the buildup that can um, occur in your hair and then these are the two shampoos that I kind of rotate between right now they are also more on the natural side the first one is by Oribe it is the gold lust repair and restore shampoo and this is by Chlorine this is the shampoo with chamomile I really like both of these. The Oribe one is definitely like a bit of a splurge. It's a high-end kind of luxury hair brand, but I really wanted to try them out because I heard so many good reviews and I really like it. It is safe to use for color-treated hair. The same with this one. This one is actually for blonde, I believe. And you know, some products just make you feel like so special. This one by Oribe, I think it actually has real flecks of gold in it and it smells so so good it's such a pretty shampoo like everything from the bottle to the actual product i really enjoy it if you are into you know hair products and you want to try something like super luxurious then i would recommend this one it's really good the chlorine one is also really good it is a plant-based shampoo so those natural shampoos i use at the roots of my hair and i really you know massage my scalp with it but for the rest of my hair, because it is colored, I use the Shimmer Lights Shampoo. This is by no means a natural product. It's not chemical free. It's not sulfate free. It's not, it's, it's honestly not, you know, a very healthy product, but it works. And it's super important to use a purple shampoo or purple conditioner if you have highlighted or color treated hair just to maintain the color of it and keep it looking ashy and like, you know, more on the silver side as opposed to on the orange side. So it says here, it's a color enhancing shampoo which brightens and refreshes blonde, highlighted and silver hair. It tones down brassiness on blonde gray hair. It renews and refreshes faded highlights and ash toned hair removes dull yellow and gray white hair and leaves hair shiny without residue. This shampoo is very, very purple, but you don't have to worry. It's not gonna, you know, turn your hair purple or anything like that, but it's just an amazing thing to use if you have color-treated hair. Because it does have sulfates in it and the ingredients are not like the best, I don't actually, you know, rub this into my scalp and clean like the roots of my hair. I use the natural shampoos for that and I focus this on, you know, the bottom half of my hair. It is a little bit, you know, extra to use like two different shampoos but I just don't want to have brassy hair I've been there I've dealt with it and it's it's not fun so I really you know try to take care of my color properly so moving on to conditioners again I have some more natural ones and some more kind of conventional mainstream ones I'll talk about the natural ones first this is again uh, from 100% pure this is the yuzu and pomelo glossing conditioner this is my second um, bottle of this. It's really, really good. This is what I was using when my hair was just my natural color. I didn't have anything in it and it worked really well. It gave me like a really pretty sheen. And of course the ingredients in here 
are really really amazing so I would highly recommend this one another one that's great is again by Giovanni this is the blackberry and coconut milk ultra repair intensive hair mask so this is by the same brand as the tea tree triple treat shampoo it says that it's for damaged and over processed hair so if you do have you know color treated hair this could be a good option if you want to use something more natural and it also smells so good oh my god it smells so good Ugh. it smells so beachy and like fruity and luscious and it's it's just amazing and then two kind of more mainstream products are these ones right here the first is the aussie three minute miracle shine conditioner i used to talk about this so much when i lived in new york let me know if you guys remember that but it was in a purple bottle this is in a white bottle this is so amazing i think it's only three dollars in the drugstore in the states and it works like a high-end conditioner it's so so good and the one that i use the most is this one right here by Kerastase. I don't know if you guys can see, but this whole thing, it's like so, I don't know, it looks so bad, sorry. But I literally use this so often, and I've had this again for about a year, and you can see there's still so much left in here. And I got this right after I colored my hair last April, which was such a disaster. I went to this salon that someone had recommended me, and the guy basically, like, it was just awful. It, my hair was literally orange. I was mortified. And then I had to go to another stylist to get it fixed. Because my hair was just so like damaged and dry after that, I had to use a conditioner that was super, super uh, like nourishing and good for the color of my hair so that it doesn't turn, you know, like a weird color or anything like that. So I got this one. This is the Chroma Riche. It is a luminous softening treatment mask for highlighted or sensitized color treated hair you only really need a very very small amount of this um, mostly on you know just the end it really makes my hair feel so incredibly soft and manageable and shiny and I really really like this if you don't have color treated or highlighted hair you know you don't have to worry about products like this it's only if you you know have color in your hair and you really want to maintain it and keep it looking healthy and then the last conditioner is this it is again the purple uh, conditioner again this is just going to to neutralize any brassy tones in your hair and keep the highlights looking fresh and more cool toned. It does work really good for neutralizing the tones, but it's not very moisturizing. So I usually apply this and then I will apply a conditioner on top of that. And then I do have a few styling products that I use. But usually when I get out of the shower, I will just put in a few drops of oil into like the uh, very end bits of my hair. I just have a few different ones here. This is a maracuja oil by Tarte. This is the argan oil by Josie Marin. And this is one by Nukes. It has six different uh, botanical oils. And you can use this, you know, wherever you want on your body. That's pretty much what I would do when I didn't have any color in my hair. But now I need a little bit more care and moisture in my hair. So I either apply um, a little bit of this or a little bit of this. This one is quite new. It is by Bumble and Bumble. It's the uh, BB Repair Blow Dry for dry or damaged hair. And it's kind of this like creamy, serum-y type of uh, product that you apply um, in your hair and then you can blow dry your hair and it basically just helps to keep the moisture in and it makes it look really like smooth and not super frizzy. This is pretty new. I'm still like gathering up a good, you know, opinion about it if I would really recommend it, but I thought I would just mention it. I do have it in my hair today. And then this is from the same line as the mask that I showed you before. It's the Chroma Riche Luminous Softening Essence for highlighted or very sensitized color treated hair. This is a leave-in treatment and again it will help to just make your hair look a lot smoother and not as frizzy. If I want to do a hairstyle that requires like a little bit more texture or grip or something, I do like to apply a texturizing uh, spray to my hair. These are the two that I really like right now. This is by Oribe. Again, it is the dry texturizing spray and usually it comes in like gold and black but this was just like a special edition one that's why it, it's in pink but this is really great if you just want to give your hair a little bit more texture and grip and hold and give it more of like a beachy look this is also great for building volume and like kind of a tease in your hair and then this one by Clorane this is a really well-known dry shampoo which you could also use as like a texturizer in your hair this is the dry shampoo with oat milk and it says that it's a gentle formula for all hair types it cleans hair without water so essentially this is a little bit 
bit different than just like a regular texturizing spray, but you could easily use this, you know, just to give a bit more volume and like oomph in your hair. And then lastly, as far as like styling products, this is quite new, so I've only used it a couple of times. It is by Alterna. It is the Bamboo Shine Luminous Shine Mist. This is a spray that you can apply to your hair when you're done styling it, and it will give you, you know, like a nice sheen to your hair. So those are all the products that I use. Obviously, don't use them all at the same time. I kind of, you know, rotate. I also want to talk about hair extensions, and I've been asked if I wear hair extensions. If so, what kind do I wear? What do I think of them? I think clip-in hair extensions are amazing, especially if you want to add like length or volume to your hair. And clip-in extensions are just really easy and quick to use. There's no damage to your hair. Currently, right now, I don't have any extensions in my hair. This is all my natural hair. But in some of my previous videos, I will have links for some of them below so you guys can see the difference. I did wear this in the back of my head, so I just put it right here on the crown. And as you can see, it's very blonde. And I wanted to add some highlights to my hair without actually having to do any highlights. So this is what I was kind of experimenting with. And I think it looks really good, especially if you curl your hair with this hair at the same time and you kind of like brush it in, it really makes it look like it's just part of your hair. Now obviously this is pretty light for my hair. I am planning on going a little bit lighter with my hair, like in the next, maybe by summertime, I want to get a few more highlights put in. So maybe by then it'll kind of match better, but you could also custom color these and custom cut them to your um, particular hairstyle. And these are by Luxie Hair, which is an amazing hair extension company. The quality is so good it's so soft and you guys probably know Mimi Econ here on YouTube she has an amazing channel she does great hair tutorials we've been friends now for about a year and a half and she's super sweet she's so kind and just such a positive person and it is her uh, company so obviously this is just one piece the rest are in this box right here so this is what it comes in if you did order uh, these hair extensions if you guys are interested in hair extensions or you want to learn more about it I will have a link for their website down below but as of right now I'm really happy with how my hair is looking I like the length of it the color and everything so I haven't been wearing them but definitely if you guys are interested in hair extensions I would highly recommend them okay so I just want to quickly cover a few like general tips that I have for uh, maintaining healthy hair. So obviously, as I already mentioned, diet and lifestyle is super important. Your hair starts to go from the inside of your body outwards, so taking care of the inside by eating healthy, thinking healthy, drinking lots of water, and just trying to live a positive life is definitely gonna have an effect on your hair. Secondly, when I don't have to style my hair, like if I'm not going to anything you know, special or not doing anything, I will just leave my hair at the top of my head in a bun. And when I tie my hair up, I use these uh, metal free hair ties these are really really good I buy these at a local store so I don't know if they're available online I will check though but they're basically just one continuous like elastic band it doesn't even have like the plastic or anything on it they are absolutely amazing otherwise your hair can get kind of attached to those like clamps and it could break your hair so you want to try to avoid that or I just use like a regular little clip like this to um, put it up in a bun it's not the most you know fanciest hairstyle but I think it is important sometimes to just leave your hair alone and let it kind of just relax at the top of your head something that I do pretty often is I give myself a head massage I have a video on this I will link it below if you guys haven't seen it already it's super helpful to promote blood circulation and therefore nutrients to the root of your hair which is where your hair is growing from I also just find it really relaxing to do a head massage which also decreases stress and makes you feel really good so I will have that video linked below if you guys want to check that out a general like styling tip that I have to get more volume is to blow dry your hair upside down so I usually wait till it's about 50% dry and I kind of like shake it up I flip my head over and then I will blow dry my hair upside down it will make the base of your hair you know stand this way because you're you know you flip your head and that will add a lot of volume to your hair and then the very last thing that I thought I would quickly mention when it comes to hair is this supplement called Viviscal it says it's a hair growth program it was really hard for me to get my hands on this I went on so many different 
websites to see like who could deliver to me. I read so many positive reviews on this and I just really wanted to give it a try. I've only been taking this for a couple of weeks so I don't know you know how well it's working. It basically says it nourishes thinning hair and promotes existing hair growth from within. It says it's a clinically proven formula and it's 100% drug free. Again I don't have like a comprehensive review of this just yet because I haven't been taking it for so long. But with that said, I have noticed that these little baby hairs right around my hairline, they're starting to get pretty long like compared to how they usually are. So, you know, maybe that's a result of this. I'm not so sure. So just thought I would mention that if you guys want to have a look into like a hair supplement or something, this did get so many good reviews. So... Yeah, I thought I would just mention that. So I think that's about everything that I wanted to share with you guys when it comes to the topic of hair. If you guys do have any other questions, let me know below. I will either answer them right away or I'll leave them for like a next Q&A or, you know, a next hair topic video or something. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up. And as always, you can find me on my social media. I am on Instagram and Snapchat and both of those are Annie Jaffrey. I hope that you guys are having a really great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys. Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I've been doing my hair lately in these kind of loose waves which I think look pretty natural and it has this kind of casual relaxed feel to it. I hope that you guys enjoy, maybe pick up on some new tips and let's get started. Alright, so I'm starting off with my hair straight. I did blow dry the ends just to remove some of the frizz because my hair is colored.